What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I have a very special opening for you guys because today I'm going to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul Fusion box. So yeah, of course, this set was just released for Japan, and uh, this set's awesome too. I mean, I can't wait until this is out in English. I think we'll get it later on this year. And uh, yeah, I mean, I like doing these OCG openings, Japanese openings, because you get like a preview before we even get to the sneak preview of this set. So I had to get this one. It has some new Cyverse monsters in it. It also has the new uh, Salmon Great cards, which are used, you know, in the show. You may have seen them, the new like fire uh, archetypes in there. So I've been watching the show lately, so I've seen them, and uh, they're really cool. Then you also have, uh, let's see, hopefully I say their name right, the Orphengal. They're like uh, different instruments. That's another archetype that's new to this, as well as the Dino Wrestlers, which is what uh, Gon uses in, in the series as well. It's like his new cards instead of the Gokis. He uses the Dino Wrestlers now, which are actually pretty good, believe it or not. I was kind of wondering about it. But uh, yeah, there's not only that, though, you get new Gravekeeper support. You're getting new Galaxy Photon support. So many things in this, and a lot of fusions, even for higher Link monsters in this. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get. I mean, I could go over everything for forever because there's so many good cards in this. Also, too, of course, I got this from uh, jockrod.com. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. It's where I get all these OCG boxes. And, uh, yeah, I've gotten boxes from them for years now. So I definitely recommend them. Link will be in the description, as always. Let's see what we get from this, because I don't know what all I want from this set, honestly. I mean, I want, like, the, the Galaxy Photons more than anything, I think. But also, you're getting, like, the new Cyber Fusion Monster, which is on the front. There, there's just so much stuff. Being Soul Fusion, of course, there's a lot of that. Also, Thunder Dragons. I should have brought them up at the beginning. Thunder Dragons are going to be meta. I'm just saying it now. Here's a little card divider, too, you get in these boxes. Always remember that. You can tear them out. I'll do that later, where I don't feel like I need to do it really quickly for the video, so I don't mess up. But you can use that to divide your cards. I've been collecting those for a while. Let's see what we get from our packs. Also remember, for Japan, they aren't guaranteed hollows. We'll be guaranteed hollows when we get this set. And, um, let's see, also, um, there's not a first edition and a limited edition. So people have been commenting on that lately. Yeah, the for Japan, it's just uh, regular. You know, there's no first ad or anything. So just to make sure that's clear. One well, of the Dino Wrestlers. That's pretty cool. Then, oh yeah, that's a Thunder Dragon card. Like some kind of weird looking bear. And, oh yeah, this is the new uh, rare card. Um, what is its name? I'm going to look it up, of course, next to me, like always. I have my tablet. Uh, this is the one, though, what basically helps you fuse in your opponent's turn. I'm seeing a lot of hype about it. And it was one of the cards that was revealed uh, just a couple of days ago, whenever this set was first getting released, you know? Uh, it is a Necro Fusion. So this card is actually really interesting. And, of course, this being Soul Fusion, there's a lot of Fusion cards. But I can see this coming in handy, especially when it's in English. kind of feeling it's going to be a secret career. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of hope I'm wrong. Never know. You're going to notice that a lot with a lot of these cards that are in this set. Also, we do have a chance of getting a 20th uh, Secret Edition rare card or 20th anniversary card or whatever they're called so i hope we get one of those down a wrestler oh there's one of the new gravekeepers i love the artwork on that one too it looks cool then one of the new fusions so yeah is that yeah that's for cybers i'm gonna read it off because it's a new fusion diplexer chimera pretty cool looking for a common like that and then we have uh this card it's like a new like herald card if i'm not mistaken it helps you like negate things and stuff uh invincible halo is its name Looks pretty cool. Has all different heralds on the front. I feel like a Lentheo is going to love that card, you know? He's the one that loves herald monsters. Dino Wrestlers. Got the Stegosaurus. <laughs> There's one of the new galaxies. That's like the new wizard or whatever, basically. It's pretty cool. Is that Oh, that's one of the instrument cards. What else do we have here? We also have a rare. Uh, this one is the, I believe, the one that helps you bring out the new fusion for Cybers. It's like a mini version of it. I think he's actually part, he's like one of the materials you have to use or something along those lines. It is a Clock Wyvern. So, pretty cool. I think that would be fun to use. Kind of looking forward to be able to use Cybers and can ritual summon and fuse and all of that. <laughs> Maybe they'll go for every form of summoning. Oh, here we go. Here's one of the new uh, Galaxy cards. This card's awesome, by the way. I'm not used to its name yet. It is a uh, Galaxy Braver. By the way, the other one was Cleric. I, I said, like, mini version of Wizard. That's what it reminds me of. But uh, this card is awesome. It's kind of like another Thrasher for Photons and Galaxies. Pretty cool. There's that Thunder Dragon Egg. Dino Wrestler. There's our Link Monster. This card's really good, by the way. Also, oh, here we go. This is another one that's notable that I forgot to say something about. Because uh, if you guys remember, like, uh, the Forbidden Scripture and uh, Lance and Chalice and all that, the, the woman that's in those, well, she gets cursed. Uh, for doing that. I think she's like a fallen angel now, basically. 
And she becomes this card, which is in, I think, at least one or two artworks. Uh, it's like Fallen Maiden. What is her exact name? It, it's, it's pretty cool. Condemned Witch. That's the name. It'll probably like Fallen Maiden or something for us. But that is really cool looking. The artwork's kind of scary. And these Salmon Great cards as well. I'm looking forward to trying those out, too, by the way. They look really cool in the anime. I love the, the character that uses them. I think he looks awesome. He has a cool design. Another one of the Thunder Dragons. I still say those are going to be meta. Here's like a new uh, Paladin card, Paladinian. So we're getting those pretty soon in English. Thunder Dragon card. And then also we have this satellite. Look, oh yeah, that's the new uh, World Legacy, I believe, right? It is uh, World Legacy World Scepter is its name. So yeah, we always get one every set. So this is now the Scepter, I guess. Pretty cool. I like that Link Monster too. That artwork is amazing. It was one of those, like, the Gravekeepers, where we saw the artworks before we knew anything about the cards. I remember posting on Facebook, and everybody uh, loved the artwork of it. It does look nice. Hopefully it'll be, like, a super or something for us, though, in English. Just because I want to see it as holographic. But still easy to get. There's another Gravekeeper for us. It's pretty cool looking. And do we have something? Well, first up, we have the Thunder Dragon Polymerization card. So that's actually really good, by the way. But what do we have here? Because uh, this might be really good. And we got an Ultimate Rare! Oh man, it's the Fright for a card as well! Oh, that is awesome! And uh, this Link Monster is amazing. Like, seriously, if you if you want to build Fright first, get them now. Because I feel like when this Link Monster comes out, it, it's going to be a lot tougher to get. What's its exact name? Because I don't have all these names memorized yet. We have uh, Fulgol Justice for Hire is its name. But as an ultimate rare, that is amazing. I, I'm definitely going to use that card. I still need to do a For Hire Depro Hall. Maybe I'll throw that card in and just count it like that, you know? Would you guys want to see that? Let me know. That might be fun. So I'm a great, uh, another one Grave Keepers. I need to hurry it up a little bit more. There's another one Thunder Dragons. And we got we got the main card. There we go, the cover card, the new Cyverse Fusion Monster. Uh, let's see, it is um, Cyverse Clock Dragon. So there you go. Like I was saying, the other one was like a mini version of it. Well, yeah, this is like the, the fully grown version of Clock Dragon and looks amazing. And also, too, you can get this card as a ghost rare, because Japanese sets still have ultimate rares and ghosts, or holographic, technically, for them. But that is awesome. We actually got an ultra rare. Not bad. For a second, I thought it was a ghost rare, because my heart just sunk. <laughs> I was like, did I really? I haven't seen ghost rares in such a long time. That is still amazing. One of the orchestras. I wonder what they're going to change to. There's the new uh, ritual card. That's actually pretty good. Helps you bring out ritual monsters. And here's one of our new Thunder Dragons. I love the artwork for that one. That one's probably my favorite in terms of artwork. Just looks cool. I'm so happy that Thunder Dragons actually got new cards and they're good. Like, seriously, they're going to be meta. It's like Chaos Dragons. There's the other Ritual card. Devi Rituals or whatever they're called. And uh, we have a Super Rare. Which one is this? I think it's one of the, or uh, the instrument ones. I, I always forget their names. I'm not used to that one yet. Uh, let's see. It is... Uh, no, it's uh, Mystic Holdra, I believe is how you say it. So maybe it doesn't go with them. For a second, it kind of looked like she went with them. That's pretty cool looking, though. And then another one of the the Scepter. Keep wanting to just say Sadlight, because that's basically what it is. Reminds me of Sadlight Cannon. Dino Wrestler. Pterodactyl. Don Wrestler again, there's the Link Monster. And uh, another one of the Thunder Dragon cards. Which one is this, by the way? Because I want to actually say its name. Uh, Bolt Thunder Dragon. Yeah, it's basically the redone Thunder Dragon. You know, there's uh, the original can work with these, I believe, too, and everything. But that one's kind of like the redone one, I guess. If you want to think about it like that. Kind of how we see, like, new versions of Blue Eyes, like Blue Eyes Alternative and that kind of thing. Yeah. More Dino Wrestlers. That's like the Raptor, I think. Cleric. Oh yeah, this card, I think that's one of the tougher to get ones too. This card's just kind of funny. It's like a short print or something. What do they call it? Uh, Two-Man Salesman. I love the way that card looks. It's just hilarious looking. And then uh, we got the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, basically. This is like a really good Chaos Monster. You banish, I think, a Light and a Dark to bring it out. It's pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, basically new Thunder Dragons are a new version of Chaos Dragons. Really good. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't think I'm overhyping them. They're one of our galaxies. And, oh yeah, here's the new, like, Gokipon cards. You guys may have heard of them. I did a, a video on them. Gokipon, I believe is the name of it, which was a uh, an older card that Weevil used. And it actually gained a few new cards to make it good. 
it, it's kind of weird. It's a weird choice to bring back, but I can see it working out. So yeah, there's actually some good insect cards in this set. Again, it seems so random, but uh, it's awesome. Where are those Thunder Dragons? Those are pretty easy to get. And, okay, we got something. What is it? And uh, it's a rare, really. I thought that was a high rarity card, but yeah, that is the uh, Salmon Great Ritual Monster. So last time we saw some rituals for Cyverse, well, this is one for the Salmon Great cards, which I believe is also Cyverse, technically, but still. I, I think it's pretty cool they printed this card. It's not just in the anime. So that's cool. What is its full name? Salmon Great Emerald Eagle is its name. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah, and there's one of the Crawler Monsters. Evidently, uh, at least that one becomes like a good guy at some point. From what I understand the story. I don't even know what's going on technically in, in the story. We might have something here. We've got like Triceratops, another one of the Grave Keepers. There's that weird looking bear. And we got a super rare. Oh man, this is like the Trap Tricks card. Oh, that's cool looking. Uh, what's the name of it? It is uh, Trap Trick. Well, there you go. <laughs> I thought it was something simple, but I could not remember it. And did we get something else? Yeah, we got the, uh, the Grave Keeper fusion. It's a rare? Really? <laughs> that threw me off. I, I didn't know it was a rare. I thought it was holographic. So yeah, this fusion is actually pretty good in my opinion. I like the support they got. It was mainly like the rest of the support when it was revealed though. I feel like pushed them over the edge to being, you know, really usable. This one is Greykeeper's Esper. Looks really cool. It kind of looks like Bakura or something, you know? I don't know. I, I like the artwork though. And last pack for the right side. I know I'm going kind of slow, but I think you guys enjoy that more with these openings because you got to look at all these cards or why get this box, you know what I mean? Summon great. A few of those. Gravekeepers. Man, we get a lot of those. I'm fine with it. And uh, we have a new Link Monster. Um, I think this is for the Code Talkers, if I'm not mistaken. It is uh, Clock's uh, Spar Toy. I guess how you say that. So, yeah, it works with the new like Clock Dragon and stuff, I believe. I think we talked about it. Looks pretty neat. New Cyverse, basically. Link Monster. Another one of Cleric. At least those are easy to get. And, okay, we have something. What is it? And, yeah, it's one of the Thunder Dragons. I was hoping so. There's a lot of fusions in this set. But, yeah, this is like the, uh, is this the three-headed one? Yeah, that's the three-headed Thunder Dragon. Because there's actually two fusions in this. Uh, this one is Thunder Dragon Lord. So it's, like, the main one to bring out. They also have, like, a, a kind of a, mi a mini one, I guess. I think it's, like, a two-headed Thunder Dragon, basically. But uh, that is awesome. I seriously can't wait to get these in English, but I have a bad feeling a bunch of them are going to be like secret rare and stuff. I, I really hope that's not the case. But uh, that looks really cool, and they're easy to bring out, too. Again, Thunder Dragons are going to be meta. I, I, I'm saying it now. I feel like nobody would disagree with me. Because, seriously, they have some power to them. And we can use, like, Blacklist Soldier Envoy at the beginning with them and stuff, too. A lot of Chaos Monsters. There's, like, the egg that goes with them. Down I just think that's funny that that's just a uh, common... And uh, we got one of the new, uh, oh yeah, it's like Ibli or whatever. She's like been turned evil in this or something along those lines. Again, the story kind of, uh, I don't understand exactly what's going on. It is Orphangle uh, Galatee, I guess how you say that. Pretty cool looking. I like the scythe that she's using. Hmm. And I don't know exactly. I think it's like supposed to be her brother though, which is Nagirsu is trying to save her from what I understand from the story. I don't know exactly. Again, they need to do like a movie or a book or something on some of these lures. That'd be really awesome. Something great. And uh, this is a really interesting Link Monster, by the way. This is another one. Um, I, I know I posted on Facebook. I don't think I did a video on it. But it like changes depending on what you use to bring it out. So you can use like Wyverns to bring it out. Or Wyverns, excuse me. And uh, it becomes better and everything too. It is Dragon Agave, I guess is how you say it. Pretty interesting. But it changes depending on what you use to bring it out. It's effects. I like that kind of idea. Some great gravekeepers, ton of those. Then we have the new, uh, what's like the new foolish burial, I think, or it is uh, foolish mass burial. So yeah, that's a super rare too. Looks pretty cool. So another foolish burial type card. Not goods this time, right? That seems to always be reprinted. And then we also have the new. Um, Fusion card for Cyber. It's like Cyber's Fusion or Sidet Fusion. Yeah, I should have guessed. Okay, we could still have a 20th anniversary card. I really hope we have one. There's some great card. And do I have something? Oh, okay, it's another one of those as a rare. 
Man, that threw me off. <laughs> Sing that Link Monster, man. I really thought we had something there. It's a good card, but I just want to see what other rarities we got here. There's like the new, uh, it's like a new Necro Valley or something. It's one of the Gravekeeper cards. And, uh, oh, here's another really cool card, too. It's another, like, Chaos card that's in this. And I think, like, in Japan, they got a playmat, too. So, yeah, it's, uh, let's see. I, I, it's another one of those that I just don't have memorized yet. But it's an amazing card. It is a Levona, the Primordial Chaos Dragon. So, yeah, it's a new Chaos Dragon. I think it's going to work with Thunder Dragons as well, kind of the idea. And it just looks awesome, too. I think it's something like, depending on what you use to bring it up, it's like more light monsters or dark monsters, it's effect changes or something. It's a really interesting card. And just that artwork, too. Look at that. That looks amazing. So, that is cool. Okay, so I think we got our ultra rares. We got an ultimate rare, so pretty happy about that. I don't know what else we're missing, so we'll just have to see. I have another one of Sign at Fusion. Can't wait for those rituals. We're getting closer and closer to those. Cybernet Horizon, around the corner for us in English. Dino Wrestlers, everything. And then we have, oh yeah, this is the, um, the revival card for the Salmon Greats. Let's see. Uh, Salmon Great Heart is its name. It looks really cool, too. I like the artwork for it. Kind of surprised we haven't seen the Link Monster for them, but I think the, the Link Monster is holographic, so it might be tough to get. Can't wait to see where they're going to go. I feel like they have a good future. We'll see. Cleric. Then, oh yeah, this card. <laughs> this one looks pretty funny. It's a, a super rare, and, uh, oh man, what's his name? It, it looks hilarious. It's like for Thunder cards. Uh, Katamori Summer Vacation. Yeah, <laughs> just look at that. He's like having a Speedo on and everything. <laughs> has like snorkel gear on. Looks hilarious. But it's actually, I think, a pretty good Link Monster, believe it or not. So, cool idea. And then we also have one of the new Galaxy cards. This card looks amazing, too. It is, uh, let's see, a Galaxy Trancer. That looks awesome. I wish I could get the Link Monster for Galaxy Eyes, because there's a new Galaxy Eyes actual Link Monster, which I feel like it's going to put them over the top. I'm not saying tier one. I, I don't think so. I, I would love for it to happen, though. But I think they're going to be good. And next up, we have uh, another one of the Orphangle cards. I think this is like the Field Spell. Yeah, Field Spell for them, which is Orphangle uh, Babel. Cool looking. Yeah, I'm not really used to those yet. I haven't looked through those too much. They're Orphangle cards. I've heard good things, though. Dino Wrestlers. And, okay. Do we have something here? And, yes! I actually got it! And it's a secret rare! Oh, man! We got the Galaxy Eyes! That was another one of those cards I really wanted from this set. What's kind of funny, too, is, like, uh, Hyperstar, you know, like, the Hoshengen, like, uh, Link Monster that we're getting in uh, Cybernet Horizon, that was, like, a really great card for, uh, for uh, Photon's Galaxies because it's a light monster. And then as soon as this came out, it's like, nope, we have this one now, so we're good. This card, though, is amazing. I mean, it helps you bring out Galaxy S so easily, and I'm so happy I got this one because that was another one of those I really wanted. You guys know I love Photons and Galaxies, and yes, uh, especially when it's out in English, I might do something beforehand, but when it's out in English, I'm definitely doing a deck profile. So don't worry, I always get that question. Yes, I will definitely do that. Uh, what is the full name, though? I think it's like just Galaxy Eyes something, you know, basically. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. There we go. So that looks so cool. And the secret rares look like parallel rares as well for Japan. So that's awesome. That's why I buy these boxes. It's so cool to see cards like this. Although, I really hope it's not a secret rare for us in English. Also, uh, my camera's about to die. Let me plug that in real quick. All right, and we're back. So yeah, I had to plug in the face cam. It runs through battery like crazy, but I'm glad it at least uh, showed me getting a Galaxy Ass card. So really happy, and that we still have plenty of packs left, so we can still get an anniversary card. Let's see. I, I really want to get one of those 20th anniversaries. I had good luck getting one out of Cybernet Horizon. Let's see. Unfortunately, though, too, they're not carrying that rarity over for us. I, I don't get it, man. It's such a cool rarity. All right, what do we have here? More of the same, basically. Oh, that's the Dino Wrestler, um, yeah, Field Spell. It's almost like continuous. And we have a rare. This is another one that goes with the Orphangle cards, I think, or whatever. It's like Nagirsu and uh, Ibli, or whatever her name is now at this point, <laughs> uh, basically. Orphangle Prime is its name. Looks cool, though. Still say I'd love to hear more about the story. 
don't know if anyone's done a video on it. Someone should do that. Like animated or something. I don't know. <laughs> Be pretty cool to watch. Throwing out some ideas. Oh, there's like the, the battle, basically, of them fight each other. And we have another one of that fusion card, that fusion trap card. That's really cool. Okay, come on. I have two packs left. Can I get a 20th anniversary card? I mean, I'm happy what I got. I got my Galaxy Eyes. I'm good. But I would still love to have a 20th anniversary card because those are some of the coolest looking cards ever. Cleric. Oh. Do we have some? Well, okay. We actually got a Hollow. Ah, okay. I'm good with that. <laughs> we got a uh, Super Rare. So, yeah. I think this was be like the... Or it's Nagirsu, I believe, that this time. He, like, gives up his soul, I think, becomes evil. Again, I, I don't know the story exactly. But, uh, yeah, I think it's supposed to be a new form of him. What is his name now? Because he, like, gets taken over. Uh, I think he sacrifices himself, basically. Or Fangle uh, Longris, I guess. I guess how you say that. So that is actually really cool looking. I still love how they're doing the story. So hopefully Avram, I guess that's who Avram was fighting down. Hopefully he can uh, deal with it. We'll see. Or he's like a Paladion, I guess, now, technically. That is still really amazing. Then another one, that Halo card with the Heralds on it. And last pack. Okay, what can we, can I end with a Hollow? Obviously I can say that with Japanese packs. Let's see. Come on. Part of the cards. I'm probably going to get another one of these boxes too because I want to get a lot of these cards from this. Salmon Greats. There's a new Thrasher. Have a new one of the, that's a new Gravekeeper card, I believe. And we are ending with Clock Dragon. So, unfortunately, we didn't get a 20th anniversary card. Those, I don't know the, the exact ratios. I, I, I know they're not one per box. <laughs> I knew that much. So, I don't know what the exact ratios are. I don't think it's as bad as, like, a Ghost or Holographic Rare. But they're still pretty tough to get, obviously, too. I mean, we didn't get one. But you know what? I got some insane cards from this, though, too. I mean, we got some of the Rafango cards. I got my Galaxy Eyes Soul Dragon. So, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Especially as a Secret Rare. Looks amazing. Also, I kind of wanted this card. It, it just looks funny to me. <laughs> There's some of our Chaos cards and stuff, too. Even one of the Thunder Dragons. I wish I could get the rest of them. I'd love to build them, but uh, that's another one. Should I just wait until they're in English? I don't know. You guys seem to only, only really like Net Profiles if I have the actual cards. So, let me know. What else do we have here? We got even the Cyverse, you know, the new one. The uh, Cyverse, like, Clock Dragon, I guess, or whatever. The new Fusion. He looks cool. Then, of course, even the Fur Hire Link Monster, which... As an ultimate rare, that looks amazing, and I can't wait for this one in English either. I feel like it's going to be tough to get. Hope that's not the case. So, just shows that uh, they're still getting some new support. And also, we end with like that, uh, what was it, like Cursed Witch or whatever. I always want to say Maiden. But, yeah, she hadn't had the, the best time. Although, she didn't, I guess, listen <laughs> and uh, did some things she shouldn't have. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I, I feel like we had some amazing luck, though, and I can't complain. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Of course, uh, like I said, we have Cybernet Horizon around the corner for us in English. I, I did an OCG opening on that. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. I mean, I had some amazing luck. I actually got a 20th anniversary card from that. Just saying. It was awesome. So, <laughs> check that out if you haven't seen it already. And, yeah, the sneak preview is actually this weekend, too. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up some packs to do openings on that. So, be sure to uh, subscribe so you don't miss out. Ring that bell so you definitely don't miss out because YouTube might not notify you. And also hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. As always, though, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of fun. And, yeah, I can't wait to see uh, what the next set's going to hold for us. And, like I said, I might get another one of these boxes, too, if you guys would like that. But, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I wish you luck on the sneak preview, because, again, that's just a couple of days away. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.